No, it's too early. Good morning, friends. I'm up. I tried earlier. It was too early. I went back to sleep. But I'm up now, and I decided to start a reading vlog today because it's already February 5th. Today is my father's birthday. And I need to get my reading jump started. Whoa. No. Um, life with a toddler. She is always moving. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be reading this weekend as well as monitoring the child. Stay tuned. The first book I'm going to focus on finishing is Zora Neale Hurston's Their Eyes Were Watching God. I've been reading and listening, but the dialect is a little bit, it's slow to read. It's a lot easier to listen to, but I want to also read the text. So I'm going to try to see if I can finish that this weekend. I won't say today. Right now, I'm only at page 60 something. You running past the books you pull them down no you eat it you like it it's peach yes mommy making an omelet god bless you Good job. Good job. <laughs> I say we're going to make a video. And here she comes. You excited? But we have to clean off your face before we go on camera. <laughs> it's not snow. It's not snow cold. Okay. We took a little walk. There's still a whole lot of snow outside. So right now we have to be walking in the street. We can't navigate the sidewalks with the stroller. When most people shovel their sidewalks, they're thinking about foot traffic, not cart traffic. We got a few treats and little one knows what she wants from the bag. So she's ready to open it. Yes, but let mommy clean it off, okay? Come. This is my life, just following after her. Hey, you like it? You like your chips? She likes to have two of them in her hand. No, but you only take one, take one. Drop the others in the bag. Put the others back in the bag. <sighs> okay. So now you have four chips, that's it. She's gonna bring them back. You bringing them back? No. <laughs> How much can I read before she wakes up? Let's see. Meanwhile, I have this stack of books that I've assembled to make a video and I just haven't had time to make the video yet. Thank you, baby. So every couple of hours, little one pulls down two of the stacks and tries to give me the books. Oh, you're so sweet. You know all the books that mommy wants to read. Yeah, August Town, that's a great recommendation. Maybe it shouldn't be at the bottom, right? We're gonna try to film this video over the weekend so we can get these books up off of the floor. <laughs> They've been there for a while. Oh. Actually, this is the book that I was looking for. Thank you, baby girl. Okay. These books, I don't know if books can be overused, but these books are used. Yeah, we have some cooked broccoli and I'm gonna make some cauliflower for this little one. Yeah, dad from the damages sustained in the blast. Now, they're building again. We'll <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Saturday morning and the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to pack some things for my friend. She's having a baby in a few weeks and I promised her that I would give her the things that we got when we were having our baby and that we didn't use. So one of the things that we didn't do, we didn't find out the gender in advance, but we kind of thought we we're having a son. <laughs> So people were taking guesses when they looked at my stomach. They were trying to decide whether, you know, the old wives tale, if you're carrying low, then it's a boy, carrying high, it's a girl, something like that. But a lot of people thought I was having a boy. So a lot of people gave us gifts that were neutral gender. And so the baby, she wore gray and yellow and white for most of her first few months. But we also had a few people give us things that were specifically for boys. So I have this newborn, a few newborn boy outfits that we just never used. Um, number one, because by the time we got them, she was almost out of newborn stage. But also because they were boy clothes. So my friend is having a boy. And so I'm passing on all the treasures. Well, not all the treasures, but I'm passing on some of the things that we got. I got this idea of a toddler busy bin from a YouTube video that I was watching one of those mommy channels. And so this is a bin that I'll be able to give her with a few things inside that will keep her busy. Come, that's my toddler. That's for you to play with while mommy makes breakfast, okay? You like yeah. it? Yeah. So there are just a couple of toys in there and that will keep her busy because, yeah. Also, the magnets are on the bottom of the fridge so she could play with them. I've changed the way I make my omelets and I much prefer this way. Um, the vegetables don't get as cooked, but it tastes so much better. So this is my new method. I put the eggs in and then I add the vegetables and then I just flip. And I can't flip with the phone, so <laughs> you just do the finished product. I could have done it one-handed next time. <laughs> On the busy box, she took out the book and she took out the ball and it's somewhere. And then I guess she didn't play with those because she's used to those toys. So I just saw the video yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get new toys, not necessarily brand new things, but things that she hasn't played with in a really long time. So she'll be more interested in them. And I'm going to fill up the box and they say no more than like four or five things. Three, three is fine but three new things. So I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and assemble these boxes for a different one for different times of the day. So she always has new things to play with. So like she reached for this immediately because she hasn't seen this in uh, about a month or so. But those, she played with them yesterday. Um, the cars are always around, so you know, that didn't quite work, but yeah. This is my omelet. Now I just need to make my toast and get some things ready for the little one. Little brat. Why you do that? Hmm? Wanna see what the bottom of the, the bowl looks like? You never seen it before? Have a safe trip. Thank you. So it turns out you can do virtual field trips at lots of places across the country right now. So we're doing a virtual tour of the National Aquarium and Little One loves it. <laughs> Look what finally showed up. Three weeks to come from Buffalo to New York City via Canada, Pennsylvania, New Jersey <laughs> and stuck in Brooklyn for like a week and a half. But it finally came.
Look at this face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More toys to play with. More yeah. toys. There you go. Good job. Give it a little fork. Yeah. <laughs> so, Daddy, I was hungry. I don't know why mommy keeps it so long. The books are down again. Who pulled them down? Uh, you're surveying the damage? This is the book you want me to... Oh, I think she tried to tell me something. <laughs> I said, Mommy. Look what's on the top. It's a touch and feel and hear. Look at her little face. She said, I know that's for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is awesome. This is the copy that I wanted, but I thought that it wasn't going to be this copy. I thought the copy that I was getting was the movie tie-in with the, the actors on the front. But this okay. is exactly the one that I wanted. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So now I'm going to have to order another one. And Segu, Marie Sconde. This is for my Booker Prize project, which has stalled for the past year and a half. And we're not calling any names, but that might coincide with that little one. And then the Famished Road is also for my Booker winning project. Look at her little face. She said, there's more. <laughs> oh, what goes moo? Who goes moo? Pig is pink and wants to play. She We're gonna take that one upstairs and lift the flaps and read. It's snowing. I'm enjoying this book a lot more than I expected. I mean, it's a memoir with a pink cover. I don't know what you think about that, but there's a whole association. But this is really profound. I just finished reading this chapter where the author is remembering his teenage years when he's in high school working with a friend during the summer and they have a job in the library and then he goes off on a tangent talking about the Dewey Decimal System and the black person who came up with an alternative to Dewey because she criticized the Dewey system of minimizing the black experience and there's a whole discussion on that and then he's talking about this young lady that he's kind of in love with and the friendship that they have and he goes off on that tangent talking about Madonna and uh, I enjoy memoirs that give me so much and this is a great one so check this one out man if you're looking for a memoir if you're looking for something to pick up for black history month that's not the typical black history read maybe give our eric thomas a try i see a little doorway to a hidden house look inside and you will find an animal called a mouse <laughs> I see some lovely coral and plants that sway and swish. Look behind and you will find an animal called a fish. I'm making a meatloaf for dinner, but it's Super Bowl Sunday, which means that I also have to make chicken wings and my husband is also picking up pizza. So we're making food because, well, we still have to eat and he brings lunch to work. So he needs leftovers to take for lunch, but also because it's Sunday and we cook on Sunday, regardless of whatever else is going on. What's that one? That is a bird and a, a squirrel. You gonna open it? Yeah, you open it yourself. Yeah. And a dog. Good job, you see the dog's house? Yeah. <laughs> Baby, tell me 
little baby girls. One little, two little, three little babies. Four little, five little, six little babies. Seven little, eight little, nine little babies. Ten little baby girls. The winds blow and they fall to the ground. Uh, Mr. Page. One has started her mission of putting down the books again. And you're going to give them all to me? Please, please don't take down all of them. Okay. So it's Monday morning and I'm going to continue the vlog because I didn't finish what I wanted to finish this weekend. I'm going to try to get some reading done today and I'll share it with you in this vlog as well. So stay tuned for more of the weekend extended. Another icy day. I don't know that we'll even go outside today because this is like the black ice. It snowed yesterday and it kind of froze over last night. So that's where it gets a little slippery. So I think we're going to stay in. <sighs> Nap time just ended and just in time. I finished Back to Business by Nancy. McSherry Jensen and Sarah Duenwald and I even wrote a review of this one on my blog that went live. Hey there booktube, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a recent book haul. So let's give her a little plaything. Smush it up. Smush it up, see? So this is a cheap toy idea that I found on YouTube something to distract the kitties put a little paint in the baggie and a little ziploc baggie and let them amuse themselves so books <laughs> uh, the supreme court decision was about and that changed interracial marriage in the united states i watched the movie a few years ago really enjoyed it so i would like to read more about this um would like to read more about this history and it is blurred by Henry Louis Gates Jr. Henry Louis. I took a few nap times but I finally completed three books so far this month. I finished Zora Neale Hurston's Their Eyes Were Watching God which is a fantastic read. I am so sorry that it took me so long to finally pick up this one but thanks Doris for sending me this copy and giving me a reason to read it this month. And I finished Back to Business Nancy McSharry Jensen and Sarah Duenwald's um, guide to how stay-at-home moms can re-enter the workforce, giving tips and hints and case studies of actual people who've done it successfully. And I wrote a blog post on this one. So if you'd like to check out my review, go to runright.net. And I finally reread this memoir. Well, restarted and finally completed this memoir and it was wonderful there's so much in here that was reflexive makes me think about my own life my own childhood and how much we all have in common with each other whether we are from different backgrounds or not so yeah first three books that i finished in february and of course the <laughs> little one's book is here and i should add her books to my number of books read because a lot of my time is spent reading these books but i also finished these books and so now i'm excited and next week next weekend we're going to be vlogging again because ah. next weekend is the mid-month book bash so i am here for it thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more let's chat in the comments and until next time doris does this until next time bye or like this guy is doing 
Bye. <laughs>